it's Thumbs to Marcus. We're doing another motorcycle. You probably know what it is. So let's get it. I did the free dirt bike first, and now I got the 1999 Yamaha V-Star. It doesn't run yet, yet, because I have to try it out to see if it runs before I can sell the motor. It has no battery, it probably hasn't run in years, but we're gonna see if we can get this thing running, or we can sell the motor as a running motor instead of for parts. I got this bike for 300 bucks with the free dirt bike. So let's see how much money we can make off this pig. The gas tank, we're gonna make our money back. Just on the gas tank. Gas tanks are expensive. It probably doesn't help that it's like 20 degrees in here. All right, uh, let's take this off before I get into the carb to see if there's actually gas going to the carb. Okay, let's get this done. Where is the carburetor? All right, the carburetors are under the gas tank. So, I'm gonna take the tank off. nest. Glad that's not there no more. <laughs> Imagine me taking the tank off and there's a bunch of bees there. That would suck. All right, it's so cold though, the battery just keeps dying so quick. I don't know if they're gonna start. I think the carbs, the carbs are a little messed up. They have to be all cleaned out and stuff. They're all sticking. All these are cracked down here. All the, uh, plastic so gas isn't really staying in there uh, I'm gonna see if the battery can get charged up but until then we're gonna start taking stuff out like the headlight the blinkers the fender stuff that we could take out before I can see if I can get this motor running Better that someone cut into points. Eh, we could probably sell it. I gotta look it up, but maybe someone buy it for a couple bucks. A couple bucks is better than no bucks. Oh! Pour a little more gasolinos in there.
all these screws are not the greatest. I'm taking the blinkers, the horn, and the high and low beam thing off. I don't know if that will sell. I gotta look up the parts. Maybe this metal housing will, and not the actual buttons, because the buttons, uh, all this plastic is just cracking, even though it's a 2000 or 1999, whatever it is. It's a 98. It's a 98, not a 99. All right, we're gonna take the brake off. All right, got the brake off. Stuff, a lot of these stuff sell, even if, it, if it's an older bike, because a lot of the older bikes, they don't make aftermarket stuff, or people that are restoring a bike want it to be OEM. So, and when you wreck a bike, the first thing that bends and breaks are the brake or the shifter over there, so. These sell good. Front brakes are really easy, just two bolts. Oh, God. From brakes, uh, I'll take this nut off right here. I need to find a little cup or something because all the brake fluid's gonna come out of here. Brakes are in great shape. Jeez, it's on there. Ooh, ooh, sold something, you hear that? If you ever start selling car parts or motorcycle parts, good tip, make sure when you empty all the brake fluid out of the brakes, see how there's always just a little. Well, this happened to me. I shipped out the Mercedes brakes. So the Mercedes, I sell them for like 140, I think it was 140 or $130. I packed them perfect. I bubble wrapped them, you know, really nice. But some of the brake fluid leaked out of them and uh, they got sent back to my house because they thought it, the package was damaged because there was like, you know, the whole box had like greasy stains on it. So they thought they like broke, the, broke it. So they shipped it back to me. So if you ship out brakes or anything that has liquid in it, make sure you wrap it in a couple bags and uh, tape it good. So if anything does leak out, it leaks in the bag and not onto the cardboard box because UPS said anything that leaks, uh, they'll just ship it right back because it's, they think it's damaged. So, good tip because it happened to me. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> That's not supposed to come in half. Here we go. From right top. We know it starts, we know it runs, but it's alive. So we can sell the engine as a running engine. It ran for a little bit. I didn't hear anything bad. Old gas in the motor, so it runs, it runs. So let's start taking this thing apart. It runs, but we know like the carburetors need to be clean for everything to run perfectly, but that's what I'll put in my listing that the bike runs, you have to be honest. Say you got this bike, it runs, but I didn't drive it and do everything like that. Uh, I'll put that when I'm selling the carburetors that the carburetors might need to be rebuilt. Like uh, new float, new jets, new seals and stuff. So be honest with your stuff. Don't say these are perfect, you know what I mean? 
So, since we know it runs, let's take everything off now. We'll start with the carburetors and all the wiring and stuff up here. And hey, College Picker, I don't know if you're watching this, but thanks for the Carhartt. My name is Doug, and I work at Perry Oil Field Services. And if you don't follow the College Picker, go follow him. He's on YouTube and Instagram, The College Picker. Thanks, man. It's so just like dry rotted. Like, look at the holes. I don't know if you can tell. Just look at them. Oh, uh, gas is leaking everywhere. They just fell apart. Everything's just dry rotten because this is from 98, so yeah. When in doubt, cut it out. <laughs> these are just rusted. Like these bolts are like ridiculously just rusted. I can't get, I got one out, that strip, and the front runs are just stripped. And even though the pipes look ridiculously gross, they'll sell for like close to $120 to $150. Let's see if I can get this in here. There you go. Plastic uh, battery box. Oh man. Now. I can move all these wires. Got it. But we got one off. At least I could take this off the bike with the motor. I think I could get it out. We'll see. Let's take the wires out. Let's take some plastic stuff off. I'm gonna get this motor out. Plastic covers are nice. You would think bikes are a lot easier than cars, but everything in a bike is, it's everywhere to be hidden, so everything's hard to get to. <laughs> Look at that shifter. It's not even straight. All these bolts are like welded together, all rigged up. I don't know who did this, but. They crazy. All right. No spiders. I'm gonna take the top off for I can get these two bolts out before I can take the motor mounts off for I can slide this engine out. <sighs> Always label your stuff because you'll have the whole engine apart and if you can't remember, you're like, what is this? It was the bracket for something. Top motor mount bracket, because both of them should be the same exact size. See, here's both of them. They're both the same. So, zip tie them together and put upper motor mount brackets. Some bikes have chains. Some bikes have a belt. It's like a rubber chain. And this is a shaft drive, so there's a shaft just like your car, a drive shaft that goes from the motor back to the back tire. This for this bike right here, it goes for like like three to 350, depending on if it's good shape. Some of these seals are pretty shot. So I could probably get at least like 250 out of them because the person that buys this has to buy all new seals for it, but they sell good. So let's get this shaft drive off, uh, get this whole big bracket off. What's the temperature outside? It's 18 degrees outside. Whoo, 18 degrees. It's chilly. Chilly, chilly.
All right, here's my little motorcycle jack. It's like on wheels, has a flat platform where the frame of the motorcycle would sit on. Just like that. See the frame sits up. Ooh. If I could take the back wheel off, if I could take this axle out, and I could, I'll take the forks off for it's even, and then you could take this motor out. I got this puppy at a yard sale for three bucks. I got the bolt out. Please don't fall out. Please don't fall, Marcelo. Please don't, don't fall. Got it. And motorcycle Here's the back wheel. Uh, the actual rim is a little rusted, but it's not in bad shape. This should just come right off. Here's a gear in there. And then the gear in here. And then that goes to the motor. And what makes it go? So this piece, there's two pieces that this can be. The shaft side and the gear side. So you can see a crease right here, and there's four bolts. Nice, I'm just... And you can see all the gears, all the teeth look like they're in great shape. Uh, I just clean that up. This is all in good shape in here. Everything turns good. This seal right here is just messed up, but this will definitely sell for at least 300 bucks, so not bad. Boom, there you go. Big bolts. You know what? I found this. I found this set in the garbage. In the garbage. So let's see if one of these fits. One and one sixteenth. Wow. <laughs> that, that wasn't on there at all. I was like, ah. oh. I found that whole tool set in the garbage because the actual ratchet was broken, but I just have this reducer to half inch, so it'll fit on there. I seen that little thing, I said, what the heck, what is this? And there's a key. Then you open it, and this comes right off. It's a little tool pouch in there. That's so neat. Weigh 500 pounds. Ugh. Okay, getting there. Woohoo! That's a heavy motor. I'm gonna have a hard time bringing this to UPS. But yeah, there she is. Motor's out. I gotta take the forks off. Take all this whole wiring harness off the frame. And we're done. But this is fun. First time taking apart almost the whole motorcycle. You know, I worked on motorcycles. I never took like an engine out or whatever, you know what I mean? So this was so much fun. Let's get this forks off. Alright, I guess we could clean all this up, clean all these parts, I want to try to take these wheels off, I don't know if I'll be able to, I'll probably have to cut them off, but 
clean everything up, clean this motor up, clean all these parts up, and start posting them on eBay. So in one video, we got the whole bike apart. So I'm pretty pumped on that. Uh, I kind of let down, I had to cut the exhaust bolts off. So they are stuck in the motor. So the next person will have to deal with it. I'll write it in the description. You just have to weld the nut to the end of that bolt to see if you can get it out of there. But uh, yeah, everything except the handlebars, I'll be able to sell. The handlebars are in bad shape. Um, almost everything else, I don't know about the exhaust, I'll be able to sell. So, I'm going to clean all this up, and the next video will be me posting it on eBay. I'll show you how I post everything, how I store everything in my category system, and uh, let's see how much we'll be able to make, potential profit. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you want to help support the channel, I got Dumpster Marcus shirts, Dumpster Marcus uh, Trash or Treasure hats, I have a whole bunch of stuff in my Etsy and Teespring, so go check it out if you want. If not, thanks for watching, and have a scrap of good night.